In this video I want to talk a little bit about Django context processors, what they are and how to use them. So here you can see the description from Django. It's a list of options or variables that you can use globally throughout the whole Django project. So it's sort of global data that you can use throughout the whole project. In a project you always have something for example called the messages, you also have the auth and you have the request and similar so you can use data throughout the whole project. So if I go to the settings.py of a random project, you can see down here that you have registered four context processors. And then this part, I'm going to create a custom one. And if I go to the browser, you can see the project I have created. So I built a very simple blog just for this video. As you can see here, we have a list of posts, which are posted in, for example, hobby, hobby and work, which is different categories. I want to show the categories up here without having to add them to the context for each of the different views. So in views.py for this, you can see here I have this view, this view and this view. And it would be unnecessary for me to have get the categories here, here and here and pass them in and similar. And that's what we want to use a context processor for. And to create a context processor, we can begin by creating a new file in the blog app. So context processors.py and then here I can just import the database model I have here for the categories. So from dot models import categories and then to get them from the database we need a function def cat categories pass in the request parameter in case we need that and then I can just say uh, return, create a dictionary, categories, and then to get all of these from the database I just say category, sorry category of course, not categories like that, dot objects dot all. So now I get all of them and pass them into this, but this is still not accessible in the template. So if I go to settings.py and find a template, then I can add it here. First I add the blog, which is the app name, and then I need to point to this file, context processors dot categories. And this will now point to the file or the function we created here. So now we can access the categories, this one inside this one. So if I just go to the command line, see that there are no errors now. If I refresh, everything is still the same. So now I can go to the base.html where I have the menu. And then I can just say for category in categories. And for, and then a href. This can just be empty for now. Category.name. And then I think this should work. Yes, yeah, so hobby, work, misc, which is the three categories that I have for this project. Nice. So that means that this is how you register global data. So inside the context processor, you can add everything you want that you want to have access to throughout this whole project. If you have any questions about this or want to know more about context processors and how you can use them, feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.